Okay guys, I promised you the colors that I used and um, the bronze is my own color but I don't have it anymore in the shop so I'll need to buy some more but you have to buy like a kilo and it's a lot so uh, that's why I'm waiting but the other colors I used uh, is this one from uh, Resin Art they're called Luster Pigments and the color is Aquamarine so that's number one then I used Blue Bayou, but this is the primary elements. And these, this one is superior blue to any blues that uh, come in this type. Because this one, this just does not, you know, go in there. It doesn't um, dissolve in the resin as much as this one does. So this one, Blue Bayou, is perfect. I did add to one of the colors, I added a little bit of Blue Moon. And I love this color. It's Guatemala green. And also this is primary elements. Just love that color. And then I had one more color that was ocean wave. And that's also primary elements. So these colors, then some of it I mix. So if you put a little bit of that greenish in the bluish, you know, you get this really awesome color. And, um, that's that's sort of you know a lot of people ask me when I do a painting what colors did you use and I'm thinking please don't ask me that because do your own cre creativity uh, mix your own colors um, feel free free feel creative and you know I know that sometimes you love a color but most of my colors are mixed because I don't like the the colors out of the jar of, or out of the tube um, there's only a few that I'll use that's like burnt sienna. I like that color But even that I sometimes I put a little bit of orange in just to get that, you know, a little bit more of a vibrant burnt sienna then there's um, Titaniums all the t t titaniums. I use those. That's okay But other than that I I mix all my colors and it would be a good practice if you're really into art um, that you go and you know just on a whole afternoon just take some paper and start mixing your colors you can do that with really small amounts of paint and then you'll see that you know that gives so much satisfaction when you do something if you and you've mixed your own colors that really is um, a good thing to do I don't mind telling you what I'm using but really if you get your uh, color chart you can google that online it's Winsor & Newton Galleria color chart and if you do that you'll see the colors and um, you, will, you will really be able to see what I've used because uh, there's not so many colors uh, most people I know always mix their own colors so we can put this one away thanks uh, for this little bit guys and now back to the pour part two of my resin pour bye bye okay guys I mixed up my resin and I'm going to do some pouring. This is going to be a two stage pour because I'm going to uh, leave a lot of negative space. This is just um, the uh, normal without color resin but I want it to uh, have a little bit of layer where I'm going to be pouring on top of. There it goes. There it is. Okay. Now, first off, I'm going to get rid of all those little air bubbles. as much as I can and then I'm going to first do the colors there we go oh and I did forget something I forgot my heat tool the heat gun so we're gonna have to do something with that let's make it there it goes. 
Then I'm going to put the blue in. There's the blue. Oops, I need a little bit more on this side. And then I'm going to come in with the bronze. the bronze. We'll see how far it goes. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. Now that is really pretty. I like it when it goes like, it looks like sand on the beach when the wind goes over it, where you get all these uh, sort of beautiful patterns. But I am going to do something with Resi Blast. I do really like that, but I'm sort of uh, wanting to have something special so what we're going to do is we're going to pop in a little bit of that resi blast just to see what happens and not much happening let's see what happens not much so i'm gonna go over it Now there's something happening. So there's something going on there that's making sort of patterns. And we're going to do that here too. And up here a little bit. Can you see it? Can you see what's happening here? That's the Resi Blast. It's making these really weird patterns, which I kind of like. But now we're going to fill in the rest. Just fill in a little bit here. I'm going to blow that all over there and down here. That's that. And I want this color, a little bit more of this color. And I'm going to blow that right over there. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is totally awesome. Okay. Now i got to just let go of this. I just want to... Ooh. Look at that. Let me get you in a little bit closer and a little bit more in focus. Can you see that? Is that not beautiful? That is beautiful. So I'm going to leave this. 
it might really move a little bit more but that doesn't matter and now I really need to do something to this because I'm going to be filling it up with just you know resin with no color in it so I have to make it go a little bit or maybe not maybe just do this okay then I can first paint it of course let's see if I can get that a little bit oops sorry you're not in focus there you go so going along the side to make it smooth oops slipped a little bit there but that doesn't matter and this one too a little bit there okay I think that's it so I'm gonna let this dry then I'm gonna um, you know touch up this make that black and then I'm going to do a total uh, pour on top although I would have liked it to be a little bit more I don't know more organic looking because now it's just you know like a stream going over there I would have liked it a little bit more of a pattern and while I look at it I think it would even be better if it was all done by the, I can do that tomorrow okay I'm gonna let this dry thanks for watching all guys see you back in a bit hi everyone I'm back and this is what um, this turned into which is really really beautiful as you can see those veins in here with the little glitters but now I'm sort of sorry that I didn't do the whole thing so what I'm gonna do is try to pour the same sort of colors and for that I have mixed up a lot of resin as you can see a nice beautiful bronze color which I'm gonna put in the cup but as I'm doing this I'm adding a drop of Resi Blast and that's the name Resi Blast so a couple of drops then I'm gonna add another color so what we're really gonna do is just do a dirty cup pour and see how that works out for us a little resi blast drop then a little bit of this color again drop it and again I forgot to plug in my heat tool that's pretty stupid 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 but we'll get over that no problem at all we'll just plug it in when we start to pour so a little of this blue on top of that then again a little bit of bronze and we want a lot of bronze because I think that really picks up all these colors the last of the greenish blue I'll give you the colors in a bit I think we got enough that's the last of that color okay Let's not spill that. Put that in. Okay. I think we're pretty much ready to do this. Let's see what happens when we pour this on top of here. Maybe give it a little swirl. There we go. Down there. 
and then on this side Ooh, it's pretty much gone together but we'll see what happens Wow, that is uh, that is kind of interesting. It has the sort of the oops, that's burning. It sort of has the same colors, but then it has this really really different sort of uh, selling effect, if I can call it that. But we're gonna put this in here. I'm gonna bring that up. Put a little bit of color here, and I'm gonna blow that through little bit there and I'll talk to you about these raised edges in a bit I'll tell you how that works because um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people who do this they uh, sort of get like oh boy that doesn't work because there's raised edges but it's gonna work a little bit more color here a little drop here a little bit of green in between here and then one more with the blowy thing and I think we're we've got a little bit of blue left let's put that in a little bit on that side and a little bit on this side okay because I did miss a little bit of the color not much but a little bit Okay, that's different. That's really different. Now, uh, yeah, you can see it from up there. See how all those little cells are doing their thing? That's really kind of cool. Now, <clears throat> what I what I was trying to do, and I think I accomplished that, is get the colors that I have back on the side. So there's these beautiful turquoisey greenish sort of parts in it. So that's totally okay. I can live with that. It has the a, a little bit of a busy sides, and it, then it has the calm centerpiece. So that's going to work out really well. Now. Um, if you do something like this and you're thinking, oh, those raised edges, that's not going to work, it will work. And as, as we're talking, uh, you can see this uh, sort of uh, morphing into bigger cells. First they were really tiny and now they're sort of all coming together and getting larger. And I, I just love that. That is really nice. And really, this is so easy to do because all you need is a couple of drops of this Resi Blast. Um, a Resi Blast is made by Eli Hem, and if you want to um, uh, know where to buy that stuff, especially in the USA or Australia, all you have to do is uh, slip them an email. They'll give you a list of um, distributors in your country. But uh, I think it is uh, one of the most useful additions to resin because it gives you these beautiful beautiful uh, results as you know I put the resi blast in the in the center part I put it on with a little toothpick and it gives you these beautiful big uh, sort of blooming I don't know effects and this I put in a dirty cup pour so it, it's all much smaller but still a lot of cells as you can see lots and lots of cells so to finish this one off, because you see that I have um, raised 
a sort of a raised little bit of where I where the two merge together. I let this dry, then I do one final surface pour, and that is going to be a clear coat, and that's going to flatten it all out. You will not see those little ridges that you see right now. They'll totally flatten out. And I think that's the only way how to do something like this on a piece because now you have this is totally different from this and I don't think you can do that any other way or to, because when you're going to be blowing that stuff around that's going to go all through each other and that really won't work. I don't think so. So this is the only way it's going to work. And um, with the last top coat on it, you will not absolutely not see anything that's gonna annoy you so I hope you like this a little bit I did and uh, I'm gonna be cleaning up and I'm going to be doing a bottle cap pour just a little bit later on and uh, I'll see you in a bit love you all to pieces later <laughs>